The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important news for today. Good day. The 2024 Archery Championship of Western Armenia was held on 14 September. On 15 September, the scientific conference was held on the worship of Anahid Goddess. I think of the members of the government of Western Armenia with the Armenians of Artsakh. Sons of Western Armenia, Tigdan Izmirlian, who was the first to use the place name Armenian Highlands. When deciding to send children to Hungary, consider which country you are sending them to. Human rights defender of Artsakh. Sibyl, an Armenian singer born in Constantinople, performed a new song and video together with the Ranting Children's Choir. On 14 September, an archery championship was held. The President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Margosyan, President of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, Mr. Armena Gablehamian, the Chairwoman of the National Assembly, Ms. Nelly Harutunyan, members of the government and deputies who arrived from Western Armenia attended the competition. Mr. Armena Gablehamian performed at the opening ceremony of the championship in 2024. He emphasized that this event is important, not only in the sports, but also in the cultural context. Archery is an integral part of our culture and art that must be preserved and developed. Our ancestors, your grandfathers and parents came from Western Army, and today you have the opportunity to express the power of our culture and art on this stage. You should not only be concerned about the awards, but also about how you do your job. You who participate in this competition must show high level and skill because this is not only sport, but also an art representing our national heritage. We are all honored by your skill and dedication. I wish you success and strength so that you continue to represent the culture of Western Armenia, consciously and with pride, said Mr. Armenak Abrahamian. Ms. Lydia Markosian emphasized that the uh, Archery Championship is an important opportunity to show the rich culture heritage of Western Armenia. We must protect our heritage and culture not only with words but also with deeds. You who participate in this competition become symbols of our national culture and we are confident that you will pass this legacy on to future generations with your work. This championship demonstrated not only professional skill, but also the importance of the study preservation and dissemination of the cultural values of Western Armenia. The members of the government expressed their gratitude to all the participants and organizers expressing hope that such events will continue and contribute to the preservation and dissemination of the cultural heritage of Western Armenia. On 15 September, the scientific conference entitled The Worship of Haranahid Goddess was held at the Double Tree by Hilton Hotel in Yerevan. At the start of the evening, President of National Council of Western Armenia, Mr. Armena Gabrahamian, made an opening speech, emphasizing the importance of preserving the historical and cultural heritage of Western Armenia. He noted that the worship of Anahid Gadi still maintains its influence in Western Armenia and made a special reference to the significance of Holy Springs for the Armenians living in those areas. President Armena Gabrahamian mentioned this in his speech. We cannot move forward without understanding ourselves. We should talk about Anahit, nature and water. Our goal is not only to tell about the Anahit goddess, but also to feel her. If we don't feel her, we won't be winners. Being Armenian people, we are obliged to put problems in front of us and solve them. I'm talking about spiritual life and the development of real Armenians. Imagine that today there are people here with us who came from Darsim and Mush. They are developing. What can we do to make them feel stronger in Western Armenia? We have to organize everything in the right way in order to develop. President of the country, Ms. Lydia Markosian, emphasized that the conference dedicated to Anahid Goddess is not only an important scientific event, but also a platform for informing the international community about the Armenian heritage. She mentioned that they are working with foreign partners to ensure the recognition of Armenian cultural values in the international arena. The chairwoman of the National Assembly, Ms. Nelly Harutunyan, emphasized in her speech that it is important to preserve the Armenian identity and pass it on to the next generations. She reminded that the Armenian people have been struggling for their identity and cultural heritage for 
thousands of years and that struggle continues today, especially among the native Armenians of Western Armenia. Kur Mihir Haikazuni also gave a speech who presented the story of Fanahid Gadis and also drew attention to the difference between the word God and deeds. At the end of the conference, a reception was held during which the participants continued discussions in an informal environment. An important meeting was held with the members of the government of Western Armenia and Armenian Safarzakh in the year one representation office of Western Armenia. During the meeting, the challenges faced by Armenians and the possible ways to overcome them were discussed. Special attention was paid to the issues of the self-determination of rights of Artsakh people, as well as the process of application sent to the European Court. The participants of the meeting came up with various proposals, trying to find solutions for the existing problems. There were questions and answers that contributed to the deepening of the discussion. At the end of the meeting, a small reception was organized, during which the participants continued discussions in an informal environment, contributing to the exchange of new ideas and strengthening of cooperation. Tigran Izmirlian, a famous Swiss Armenian rich man, is the national hero of Armenia. Tigran Izmirlian was awarded the title of national hero of Eastern Armenia in 2024 due to the high evaluation of his charitable activities for Armenia. The Izmirlian family arrived in Switzerland at the beginning of the 20th century in order to escape the genocide against the Armenians in the Ottoman Empire. By the end of the 1916s, Tigran Izmirlian managed to almost completely control the world's peanut exports and establish his own peanut empire, the Swiss company Aliminata. In Eastern Armenia, Tigran Izmirlian is known as the founder of Izmirlian Foundation, opened in 1994 in memory of the philanthropist's parents. The foundation has implemented many projects in Eastern Armenia and Artsakh in education, health care and other fields. In 2013, with the support of the foundation, the Izmirlian Medical Center was established on the basis of the Research Protocology Center. Tigyan Izmirlian died in 2024 at the age of 98 and will forever remain as a worthy son of Western Armenia and the entire Armenian people. Researcher of historical materials Khajak Sirekanyan published photos and wrote on his Facebook pages. The name Armenian Highlands was first used and put into use by the German geologist Hermann Abich. He published the three-volume work Geological Researches in the Caucasian Countries, the second and the third volumes of which are dedicated to the Armenian Highland, with which he introduced the physical geographical name Armenian Highland. And the German geographer Karl Rieder called the Armenian Highlands as a cool mountainous island, rich in air and water. Organizing camps for Artsakh children by Hungary is just hypocrisy and a cheap humanitarian gesture that should not be given. Geram Stepanyan, human rights defender of Artsakh, wrote about this on his Facebook page. So you are probably aware that within the framework of cooperation with the Hungarian government around 120 children displaced from Artsakh have gone to Hungary to participate in a summer camp and according to widespread information, another thousand children should go. Hungary is a country that has a traditionally had a pro-Turkish and pro-Azerbaijani position, particularly in the matter of Artsakh. Hungary is the country that extradicted the murderer Rami Safarov to Azerbaijan. Hungary is the country that participated in the summit of the Organization of Turkic States in the depopulated and occupied Shusha at the highest level, at the level of the country's prime minister, after the genocide in Artsakh and ethnic cleansing. There should have been a joint statement of all 27 EU member states regarding what was happening in Artsakh during the days of the blockade, but Hungary blocked it. I well remember the pronounced pro-Azerbaijan speech of the representative of Hungary at the session of the UN Security Council when the difficult humanitarian situation created in Artsakh as a result of the blockade was discussed. After all this, organizing camps for children of Artsakh is just hypocrisy and a cheap humanitarian gesture that should not be given. Dear parents, of course, I cannot decide for you and I don't pretend to decide, but when you decide to send your children to Hungary, take into account which country you are sending to, the Panyan said. Born in Constantinople, Sibyl, who is one of the world-famous musicians and singers of the Armenian community, 
performed with the Ron Dick Children's Choir with a new song and a video called Body Luis. The song, which has been shared online on YouTube, calls on all mankind to remember the power of goodness in the fight against evil. The song by Luis, written with the participation of the Ron Dick Children's Choir, emphasizes the importance of merging with the enjoying the wonders of nature, even in these days when humanity is becoming more and more cruel. The lyrics of the song are written by Hamu Sahya. The music is by Rand Chizme Chan and the musical arrangement was made by the Jeng Tashkan, Majak Toshikan. The directors of the video clip are Harutsun Gevorkian and Sayat Taglian. This was all for today. Goodbye.